every offshore passage comes with learnings, of course, and we've done a lot of thinking about our Bermuda to Antigua run. Main thing I think we did right is the way we used the fuel that we had. We really were thoughtful about when we ran the engine, what RPM, and we adjusted to the changing weather forecast. And I think we were very strategic and smart about how we used the fuel that we had. Our biggest error on this trip, however, was not bringing enough fuel. We should have gotten probably two or three additional extra jugs of diesel. I think we over relied on the accuracy of the forecast and we should have known better. You know, we should have uh, just had more margin for error and, you know, ultimately it turned into a long, arduous passage, but we arrived safely. So it was a success and I think we're better sailors for it. Now we're enjoying Antigua. just Bob and I. Uh, focused on everything safety. Um, but it should be a good passage. Um, these might be the biggest seas we see. So some downwind sailing today uh, before we get kind of headed off with some headwinds and maybe have to motor a little. But good start to day one. Seas are about six to eight feet. Winds out of the northeast, uh, about 15 to 18 mostly, 20, 21 occasionally. So uh, we're sailing mostly on a beam reach. And when we've got the full main up, we're probably averaging eight knots. Uh, we did just reef since winds picked up, so we're averaging a bit less than that now. But all going well so far. I just finished my time at the helm, about three and a half hours, tired for a rest and uh, I'll try and get a bit of a nap here even though it's the middle of the day and then take over from Bob in a few hours. I started off the passage not really feeling so well. I think I was a little bit nervous and I also had a little bit of seasickness going on. Conditions the first day and night were a bit overcast and we could see some pretty good rainstorms off on the horizon. But one thing we had almost every night was just an incredible array of beautiful sunsets. We had a full moon during the passage and the moon rose early each evening and skies were mostly clear. So our overnights were usually quite bright. The sunrises were not too shabby either. either low wind days as well as on the nose low winds so we are going to have to motor uh, more than usual. Uh, we're motoring. We don't want to be motoring yet. In the middle of the long motoring spell. Still motoring. The seas are flat at least as we continue to motor. Sounds like we would need to motor a little bit more tomorrow. Plan to use our engine even more. Uh, running the engine for another hour. Monday. We uh, had hoped to be in Antigua two days ago. The uh, Ouija board of wind direction has been a little bit flaky. Um, wind has been stubbornly south this entire passage. Almost every forecast we got um, where we were expecting things to back to the east and give us a little bit of a lift. It either just didn't happen, or it happened a lot less, or it happened with a lot weaker winds, or whatever, but this has been a really slow going trip. So here we are, we're within uh, 20 miles of Barbuda right now, um, and it's going to take us the next 24, 30 hours maybe 
to get into port in Antigua because we, we just have to beat our way there. We're right now doing a long tack to the east. We'll probably go out like 30 miles because um, the east-southeast wind we were expecting today, it just didn't happen. And it's still right out of the south-southeast, right on the nose to get to where we want to go. So in fact, we are right now sailing in exactly the direction we expect the wind to be coming from all day today. Um, the latest word is that after midnight tonight, wind direction and speed ought to be awesome. I'm not even going to say if that happens. I hope that happens, but uh, um, that would be great if it happened. So um, with any luck, will be a nice uh, ride overnight to the final prize in Antigua. Crossing. Those easterlies finally kicked in, boosting our spirits for the last 50 nautical miles of the trip. Final approach to English Harbor in Antigua. Guess what? The wind actually backed. Finally, we had a nice reach from about 35 miles north of Barbuda right down to here. And now we're just struggling to sail downwind for a change. Uh, wind's a little bit light. Um, we're still sipping fuel, so we don't want to run the engine for this little leg. And uh, we're going to do our final jibe to point up into the harbor and then uh, cross our fingers and start the engine. So, almost there. And so concludes our double-handed, nine-day, thousand-ish nautical mile passage from Bermuda to Antigua. We will now begin working with Antigua Rigging on some repairs, but we are quite happy to be stuck in Antigua for a few weeks. <laughs>